Let's talk histograms. So this is gonna be really quick, basic histograms to try to explain kind of what you're looking for when you're getting ready for an HDR shot or just a photo in general. So uh, if you look up here, I have my histogram uh, right up here. And uh, to the far left, that's gonna be peaking or that means the shot is on the darker side. Where to the far right, right here, that means the shot is peaking to the overexposed side. And then in the middle, um, it has to do with peaking within the middle of the middle spectrum of the lighting or exposure um, in your shot. So uh, here's an HDR photo that I took um, a while back. Um, this isn't actually the HDR, this is the base shot that I used. Um, here is the underexposed version and the overexposed version and the uh, baseline version, the, the one that was the exposure was based off of for the other two exposures. So if you notice, I got a little bit of white peaking, which that's gonna cause by this, this, if you notice, it's pretty bright in this general area, you know, so I've lost a little bit of information there. Um, but other than that, that's really the only spots that's really peaking. Uh, so that's my baseline photo. Um, if you notice, I can handle, I'm okay with a little bit of peaking because I know when I do the underexpose, it will pull that back in. And if we go to the edited version, the actual HDR, look at that, it pulls, pulls the information back in um, right there. So if you go to the underexposed, you notice it's a little bit darker. That's going to bring these in so it's not peaking as bad. Um, but if you notice, I have some dark peaking here, that's probably going to be caused by this or some of these mountains in the background here, like this right here is pretty dark. So it's probably reading off of that. And then of course, if we go to the overexposed part, um, you've got your peaking here and here and your whites and the overexposure. So again, darks are going to be to the far left, whites are going to be to the far right and then everything in between. So. Uh, for the most part, I'm pretty satisfied with this. You know, if you wanted to try to make the histogram work a little bit better for you, we might pull down our highlights a tad bit. And we might pull down our exposure a tad bit. But see, if we pull down the exposure too much, we're going to peak too far to the left, and it's going to be too dark. And if we go too far to the right, it's going to be too bright. So, um, and then what we can do is we can maybe pull down our blacks a tad bit, and that's going to widen it out. And if you notice, I'm getting a really heavy peaking to the far right. So, bring our blacks back up. And uh, so, you know, I've got a little bit of peaking because of these whites right here that aren't really recoverable in this specific shot. So what you're looking for is to try to get a, a little bit of peaking if you have to have it in your base shot, but you know, no peaking of course would be nice. Um, and peaking again is, is having the, the information go off the histogram, therefore it's unsavable in that picture and the objective is to get um, you know pretty much on your underexposed you're going to peak to the far left which are going to be your darks on your overexposed you're going to peak to the far right which are going to be your whites and uh, and you want to get that in between shot and that will be your baseline your initial shot and you'll take the other two um, bracketed um, and you'll be able to put those three together and make an HDR photo I hope this helped you guys out a tad bit if you got any questions, you know, of course you can email me at mediaunlocked101 at gmail.com if this was not, uh, if you did not understand this well enough, I tried to make it as simplistic as possible. You guys have a great day and I hope you guys enjoyed the whole HDR series.